the way. I'm a certified personal trainer. I have a degree in health science and I care about my body and I'm learning other things and I'm definitely set you back a little bit. How, how you like that? Yo, what is going on? It's your guy, Vaughn. Thank you for tuning in. This is heavier than weights. Without further ado, let's dive into this video, baby. So today's topic that I'm going to get into is how you build the physique that you want. So I got a couple notes that I took that could be able to help me reference what's going on. So if you see me check the phone, no, I'm here with you, man. But we still going to talk that real talk. So it's to gain muscle and get the physique you want. So ideally, say you see my videos, you see my workouts, you like my physique, you want to build a physique similar to mine's or just you want to get bigger. You maybe want to lose weight. It's so much variables to what you want. But ideally, you want to achieve some kind of aesthetic to the way you look. I want to say, first of all, congratulations, you got a goal. That's the first step. A lot of people out here do not have goals, man. They're just wandering around without really a place to go. So the fact that you got a goal, you ahead of the class. You know what I'm saying? You got, a, you got something you're shooting towards. So the main thing I would say is that you got to actually have a vision of what you want. That's like number one. Like if you want to look like Arnold, you have a vision. You know what I'm saying? You might not. I'm going to get into some more detail, but you got that vision. You want to look like... How do I say Kevin Hart? You got that vision. You know what I mean? You want to look like who else I could say? Me? You got that vision. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, that's the first step to building muscle and getting the physique you want. You got to actually have a vision of what it is that you want. Second thing, right? You have to create a plan. And part of that plan is saying that, okay, I want to lose 15 pounds right now i'm at 220 i see this guy he's my height he's at 200 pounds he's at 210 and i want to achieve similar aesthetics to him so your main goal you're gonna lose 10 pounds you know what i'm saying that's what your goal is now with that being said that could be your goal but it will have some adjustments in the midst of you wanting to lose those 10 pounds you might realize that oh shit, i lost 10 now it's not really a weight thing. Now I just have to watch my sodium intake because I realize I retain more water and I look more bloated when I eat more sodium. So you have a goal because you know what you want, but also that goal is susceptible to change. You're gonna have to make some adjustments. So I'm gonna give you a mock actual breakdown of something, a plan, having a plan, of having a vision of what you want, having a plan, and then also, like, I'm gonna give you a full breakdown at the end of this video. So just walk with me through this, man. Just stay with me. I got you. Here is something that, um, an example of a plan that could help you. Like, say you want to get big, right? You would do push-pull legs. So your objective is to get bigger. Your whatever your frame is, you're gonna do push-pull legs, and you're gonna be lifting. I would say. Maybe 75% of your of your one rep max. So you're going for around six to eight reps, if that, and you're really pushing going heavy. Now you might realize, okay, I'm lifting heavy, but also, damn, I'm feeling like I'm getting bigger, but I'm not able to move as much. So a part of that plan, you would adjust and start to do some more mobility training. So within you getting bigger and you lifting heavy weight, you will have a day that you do cardio. So that's a part of you having a plan and making adjustments along the way. You got a workout plan now, whatever that plan may be. You got the physique that you have in your mind that you want. You created a plan. You know what I'm saying? That's how you're going to get there. Now it's a part of you got to get that nutrition right. You feel me? So you got the workout right. Now it's nutrition. So as far as the nutrition now, you really got to play with it because it depends on your goals and also your body reacts to different foods than the next person might for an example i'm lactose intolerant to an extent i could drink milk i choose not to but the other person might be able to down a gallon of milk so i can't have the same nutrition as the next man i gotta really understand certain things and then you kind of gotta pick and play with it so as far as the nutrition aspect of it goes um you know primarily you need your three macronutrients or your three main foods so that would be like your carbs your protein and your fats 
you know, you go, you're gonna play around with that number, but it doesn't matter if you're vegan, vegetarian, you're gonna need protein to be able to build on that muscle. So primarily, when you're working out, you're destroying the muscle. And you know, when your body destroys something, it rebuilds it. So the proteins that you eat, those amino acids are gonna help you to rebuild that muscle. So protein is very essential to you growing and getting bigger or even getting leaner. It's just essential for that. And you know, you wanna use your carbs because carbs are sources of energy. Like I actually went on a fast for my longest fast. I did 36 hours where I didn't eat. Mind you, there's a lot of other background to it, but I went that long without eating and I, I survived, that was good, but I realized if I would have continued to not eat, I would have been very weak and tired because I didn't have no carbs. Like I realized carbs really are a source of energy. When I'm uh, like, I'll give you an example of a carb you could eat, oatmeal. Oatmeal is a great example of some carbs you could eat that's healthy, that's not gonna be like, you know what I'm saying, nonsense. Oatmeal, you could throw your berries in there. That's something to not do. Shout out to my guy Manny, he definitely brought it up to me in conversation. I'm like, yo, cause I used to buy the packets. You know what I mean? So I put my own fruits and berries, so I'm monitoring the sugar intake. So a good tip, is that if you're going to be focusing on a certain goal, especially with nutrition, you're gonna wanna make your own food. Because ultimately only you know what's going in that food. You know what I'm saying? If you go outside, you don't know what they putting in there. It might taste good, but they could be putting all types of different sauces and mixtures, high sodium. But when you cook it, you know exactly the amount that you're putting in, the amount of sugar, the amount of salt, the, the sauces, the spices you're using. So I would definitely recommend you're on that path to losing weight, gaining weight, whatever. You want to be able to meal prep and cook your own food. Now, meal prepping is good because to cook every day after work, realistically, it's a lot. Plus, you're going to the gym. Plus, you're already building on certain skills that you just want to be a better human. Plus, you're probably reading some books like I got over here. You know what I'm saying? So, it's already a lot going on. So, the meal prep, you probably cook three meals in advance. You locked in. And then you might get some outside food and mix it with the meal prep. But that meal prep, that solid dinner, will be a great source of you hitting your goals, man. So... I know this video is a little bit lengthier. That's because I'm going in depth with you. And it's still a shorter video, to be honest with you. Like, this joint might be like 10 minutes with all this knowledge you're getting. Like, come on, baby. All right, so now, boom. Now that you have all those actual basics, the only thing left for you to do is to be consistent. Consistency is the last thing you have your vision you got your plan, you got the workout plan, you got the nutrition plan. Only thing that's left is for you to be is consistent. So now you have to literally say, okay, I'm going to the gym three days a week. I'm doing push pull legs and the last day I'm gonna go run around the track. So that last day, you make sure you hit the track. Those three days, you make sure you're hitting exactly what you're doing, that push pull legs. If you miss a day, you're gonna come back on the back end and get it done. So that's the main thing is that you are going to prioritize and be consistent with your goals. So another thing I like to say, I gave you all those tools. Now I'm going to give you some steps if you want to have a physique similar to mine. Because a lot of you watch me. I'm pretty sure that you see my workouts. You like them. And it's a pleasure that I'm able to bring you some good energy, man. I'm able to give you something that will actually like motivate you and that you want. It feels good about that because... That wasn't my intention at first, but the fact that I'm able to is very rewarding and thank you. So boom, so say you want a physique like mine, I'm gonna tell you this right now. I do not eat fast food. So that's the first thing, no fast food on my thing. If I eat, like now my diet is much more strict, but you can start with the basics. So if you eat McDonald's maybe once a week, cut that shit down, maybe you eat it twice a month. You know what I'm saying? So just bring it down. So you want to cut down those processed foods and that fast food. Now, you, another alternative, instead of McDonald's, you might go to Shake Shack. It's still like fast food, but you know, Shake Shack is a little bit more, the patties are more like, it's better quality food. So even if you have fast food, you might go to a Chick-fil-A instead of McDonald's. It's still fast food but the ingredients are better quality and those little bits matter man i'm telling you so the main thing cut out those processed foods the other thing make sure that 
you build healthy habits so a lot of reasons why i'm able to hit the gym is because i'm consistent with other things like i hold myself accountable not only do i go to the gym a certain days a week but i make sure that my bed is spread so i make sure that i clean my bathroom maybe once in a you know what i'm saying i'm not going to do it every day but i'm just there's certain things that i do that keep me consistent so you want to build up a reputation of being a person of your word because ultimately you got to hold yourself accountable nobody's gonna hold you accountable like as much as i'm on this video with you and i'm talking i'm not there to really you know what i'm saying i do online coaching if you're interested let me know but i ain't even pushing all that right now i got a lot of things going on but if you really need help i'll discuss something and ultimately uh it's not even about the bread to be honest but if i'm gonna help you i gotta i'm taking time away from other stuff i feel like it's only right that you know get compensated but i digress so basically i'm not there with you because i'm not coaching you so you're gonna have to hold yourself accountable and the one way you could do that is by practicing consistency with everything you do shout out to my dogs he always tell me the way you do one thing is how you do everything and it's true man the way you do one thing is how you do everything if you slack off with you know what i'm saying you don't you go to work late you always speeding getting speeding tickets and you just a reckless person it's going to adapt to your lifestyle man um another thing about me that if you want to achieve this physique you want to make sure you work out at least four times a week so i'm in the gym at least four times a week baby and if i'm not in the gym i'm at the park or i'm doing push-ups at home so you want to get at least four good workouts in now it doesn't matter how long the workout is but if the quality of that workout is you're putting in pain you're breaking that muscle down you're doing what needs to be done hold on if you are using your time correctly you could achieve a lot in that short amount of time so a person might be in the gym for two hours i could be in the gym for one and i'm putting in way more work because i'm not distracted i'm not talking i'm prioritizing time in between my sets and i'm getting to work so that's one thing you know i'm in the gym and i'm very intentional along with the gym intentional my diet i monitor it i eat healthy i do enjoy some chips like i got some chickpea chips enjoy slap like you gonna have fun with it life is not just a strict, uh, uh, nah, you're going to have your goals. You're going to have a vision, but at the same time, have some fun with it. Like even this video, honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. I want my videos to be so structured. I want HD. I want somebody to follow me with the camera, but I can't be perfect. I got to be myself at the end of the day. You know, I got a lot of room to grow, but at the same time, we're going to enjoy each other's company. I'm here with you as if you like a close friend of mine. I'm not going to really give you the full yeah so you're gonna take the metrics of your bmi you're gonna i'm gonna give it to you in a very digestible way and we're gonna get it done man. all right we back so give it to you in a digestible way that you can hear it and you could understand it and then you could apply it so that's what it's about um at the end of the day i'm here for you b and even though i'm not physically there for you i'm still here for you so if there's anything that you would like to learn if there's anything that you're interested in feel free to drop in the comments i'm gonna make a video right away i'm a certified personal trainer i have a degree in health science and i care about my body and i'm learning other things and i'm definitely enjoying spreading this information and having these sit down conversations with you and also i'm getting to know myself and watch myself grow as well because a year from now i'm going to be able to look back at this video like oh snap bro like you was on the right path but now you know so much more so you know at the end of the day you know the model stop making excuses this is heavier than weights and we out of here baby yeah we out of here